Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. Today in the One Year Bible Reading Plan, I read the closing words of 1 John. Um, chapter 5, verse 21 says this. Dear children, keep away from anything that might take God's place in your hearts. Um, literally in the Greek, it's keep yourselves from idols, as the footnote will tell you. Um, but I like that translation, actually, because it helps unpack what is meant by idolatry. Namely, when something takes God's place in your heart. And, uh, and God is, as it were, depositioned or dethroned. And even saying it out loud sounds horrendous, doesn't it? But that's what we do on a daily basis when we allow our hearts to drift and to wander away from the worship and the adoration of God alone and allow other loves and desires to hold sway and, and be uh, supreme in our hearts. So uh, idolatry is one of those themes I, I've been struck by again and again through, as reading through the Bible this year that just keeps coming back. It's the Old Testament's way of, and the New Testament's way of naming really um, sin or it's a, a very um, tangible metaphor for that. And um, and it's one that's illustrated, again, in the book of Hosea, which I started reading today as well, chapter 1, Hosea, um, very powerfully using another metaphor, that of adultery. Hosea begins his, his public and his prophetic ministry to Israel by uh, God, um, instructing him to marry a prostitute Gomer or a promiscuous woman who is incredibly unfaithful and consistently uh, yeah, cheats on him. Uh, all the way through and yet he keeps on taking her back and it's a metaphor for how God is, is struggling with the fact that he has an unfaithful wife that is the people of Israel and uh, and it's because she keeps going after other lovers or idols uh, and it's a powerful metaphor isn't it and, and one we need to pay heed to are there idols that hold sway in our hearts are we like Goma are we being Gomeresque in that we're turning our hearts to, to left or to right and we're going after idols each one of us might have particular idols that have um just get under our skin and our, our particular weakness. Maybe we need to do a survey of our heart today and just think through what things am I drawn towards in an unhealthy way? And they could be good things, but actually um, the way that we're drawn to them is, is knocking God off his throne uh, in our lives. And it could be a person, it could be a thing, it could be a habit, it could be a thought cycle, it could be a substance, whatever it might be. We need to make sure that we keep ourselves away from anything that might take God's place in your hearts. Take some practical steps today to not go down that road. Um, guard our hearts. Um, name it and take steps to mitigate against that because we want God to be first and foremost in our hearts.